So only on six tonight, giving teens a second chance when they make bad decisions. Tonight we are seeing how many young first time offenders in Orange County arrested for things like theft, vandalism, burglary, even battery are not going to jail, but instead are going to teen court. New Six's Eric Von Anken shows us how it is getting results together, putting kids back on the right track. The defendants who appear before this court have violated a law of the state of Florida and have voluntarily chosen to come here to have a jury of their peers impose a sentence for their violations. This is their day in court for two young teenagers. Do you swear or affirm that your testimony today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? The courtroom is a virtual one these days, but still there is a judge, jury, prosecutor. The defendant met up with his friends so that they could go to the mall together. However, the defendant didn't have his mom's permission. And a defense attorney. How are your grades in school? A's, B's, and C's. And you'll notice, except for the judge, all of them are teens too. The sanction itself is uh, developed, come up with by peers. And what we've seen is that has a greater effect on the young person who's charged with the offense than maybe an adult telling them they did a bad thing. Judge Robert Egan is the administrative judge at the juvenile courthouse. He says teen court is one of the best things to ever happen here, giving a young first-time offender a taste of the judicial system and its consequences without a criminal record that could ruin their adult lives. How did your mom feel about everything that happened? She was upset. She was hurt. And then the teen jury hands down the sentence, usually community service, letters of apology, maybe even paying back the victim. And if the sentence is completed, all charges are dropped. In this case, you heard how she had disrespect for her mom, for the officer. Most teen court kids do not commit another crime, far fewer than teenagers who end up in the traditional juvenile justice system. Everybody in the program is treated the same, regardless of their background, uh, where they come from or what they look like. The judge says teen court is the right approach at the right time in this country, but it's also right, he says, anytime. But what I try to focus on is what we can control. I cannot control the parenting at home. I can't control what happens at school. I can't control the police officers. What we can control is what goes on inside this courthouse, especially with respect to teen court. And so when we have control over uh, the environment, uh, we do have success. Last year, teen court did 202 cases. And part of the deal for a teen who agrees to go through teen court Besides pleading guilty and besides taking the punishment, they also have to agree to be a juror on a future case, meaning the next time around, they are going to be the ones who are judging their peers. In Orlando, Eric Von Aken getting results, News 6.